So what is good YouTube? It's your boy Legendary EA and we're back here for another episode of my Dallas Mavericks my GM and in this episode we will be simming through All-Star Weekend and we will be playing a game versus the Utah Jazz so if you guys like that make sure you go ahead and drop a like on this video hit the subscribe button in the next video will come out at 175 likes go ahead and like the video reach that like goal and also if you guys missed uh, the last episode of this series and annotation to it will be in the top right hand corner and if you guys missed my video from yesterday which was a bulls rebuild make sure to go ahead and check it out it was it was fire it was, it was straight flame so make sure you go ahead and check it out links to all those will be in the description below but anyways you guys we are going to be taking on the utah jazz if you guys didn't know we only had one all-star and that was michael porter jr and i gotta say in the All-Star game, he played pretty, pretty well. He put up about 17 points around there. But anyways, we are going to be, like, we are going to be finishing up this series pretty much, uh, this season pretty much soon. Uh, as far as the series, I plan on going two more seasons, and then we'll probably do a realistic one with a different team since 2K did update its rosters. But as far as this season goes, uh, we are, we, we will probably be playing, like, two more games like maybe one or two more games and then getting straight into the playoffs because right now we are sitting at the third seed with a good draft pick thanks to miami but anyway let's get straight into this gameplay versus the jazz and let's try to get a dub let's get it welcome to the nba on 2k sports this is kevin harlan alongside clark kellogg and greg anthony da will join us tonight on the sideline here in utah it's another home game for the jams home court didn't seem to help any last time they met this far into the schedule, we have several teams looking to turn things around and save their season. Clark, when you think about that, what's the best mindset those teams can have? You know, I think it's a combination mindset, Kevin. One is to keep your eye on the big picture. What can we become? Who are we? What are our habits? Are we doing the things we need to do to give ourselves the best chance? And then the attention to detail. I think those two things have to be locked. And it's game time, you guys. And I got to say, like I said in the last one, like I'm actually enjoying this series. We are on episode 21, I believe, and yo, this is the longest one that I've done in 2K, like in like a really, really long time, other than my Lakers one. But like I said in the intro, uh, I do plan on going probably one or two more seasons with this series since we're getting to like the years 2022 and 2023, and I really want to use 2K's updated rosters and stuff like that because the one problem with this one even though I, i've tried to keep my team very very realistic around the league it's just been ridiculous like like kevin D durant should not be leaving after year number one and something that i noticed doing all my rebuilds is that he doesn't do that uh on the update on, on the updated roster so that's why we need to go ahead and fix those but anyways, you guys, we are playing the Utah Jazz. You guys are doing. They are a really, really good defensive team. They got Donovan Mitchell. They got Rudy Gobert. They got Ricky Rubio. And we're trying to hand these guys an L. Here's Dennis Smith Jr. with the ice going all the way in. Yeah, we we started off with a really, really not nice lead, 15-4. They can't even stop us. Here's Porter. He's on fire. They can't guard him. There's a mismatch at small forward. And I got to say, Hassan Whiteside is a backup center on this team. Uh, clearly... 2K's logic won't just play him at power forward. Uh, they're just bringing him off the bench as a backup center, and that's somebody who we could actually target in free agency. Uh, I did tell you guys in in the last one that this coming offseason, I did want to target a big name free agent since clearly we are the third seed. Any top player would want to join a young team, uh, especially if they if there wasn't like a better team trying to like really give them a really good offer. So we could target somebody like Hassan Whiteside, who was coming off a year where he was a backup, and he's still a really good player as well. And yo, he cooked Nerlens. Everybody cooks Nerlens. That's what I've noticed. Nerlens is always getting cooked. But here we go. We're hitting up Harrison Barnes. Easy dub. Also, Harrison Barnes. He's about to be 28 years old. He's like the he's like the oldest player in our starting lineup, or he he's the oldest one who actually matters. How about that? So. Uh, I do plan on keeping him, but I mean, we will look at all of our options because currently we are projected to get the number two overall pick because uh, I believe in season one, we made a trade with Miami. We made some kind of trade where I ended up getting Miami's pick this year, and I believe we did that in season one, 
and Miami is horrible like they they are terrible and they have the worst record in the NBA which means we will we have like a really really well we are locked in for like a top three pick so we can decide what we want to do with that pick if we want to draft a prospect which I kind of don't want to do or if I want to make a trade and you guys already know if it's a high draft pick you'll be getting some crazy offers for it so we could get a superstar that way but i guess we will figure that out when the time comes but here we are on defense rubio splash this bro i don't i don't even know how and i know that in this video i, I barely talked about the gameplay but here's Smith jr driving all the way and passing it up to nerlands back out to reddish in his face we hit contested jumpers around here what you mean so as you guys know we had a pretty big lead in that first quarter we somehow blew it now we are down by four Here's Harrison Barnes. He's going all the way. He's passing out to Porter for the open tray. Let's get it, man. Let's get it, man. All right, come on. We are down by five. Let's not lose to Jensen Jr. Going all the way. Sit down, Harrison. Sit down, Hassan. Man, I really just called that man Harrison. But, yo, Hassan, he just got yammed on. He got dunked. Man, it's Porter. And right now, it's just a dunk party because right now we are playing excellent defense on him. We are up by one point. Pass it out. We are always looking for the three. And we're going to splash the thing again. Let's get it, man. This is what I really, really like out of this team. Like, Porter has really developed, and I believe he's second or third right now in the MVP voting. Of course, he's not going to win it because Steph Curry, you know, he, he kind of owns that award. But just seeing him there is amazing. Uh, I feel like he's playing how how Giannis is in real life, but just with more scoring. But in the end, we win 84-74, to 74, a 10-point victory against the Utah Jazz. They are the, like the fifth seed. We are, we are the third seed. So we are like two seeds ahead of them. And they put up a really, really good battle. But, you know, Dallas Dallas is trying to win a championship. What you mean? But Hassan Weissel off the bench had 15 points, 14 rebounds. He killed it for him. Donovan Mitchell with 13. Rubio with 12. Yeah, this guy could not even guard Porter at all. As far as Porter, 30 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 steals, 1 block. Dennis Smith was 17 and 10. Barnes with 14 and 6 boards. Reddish with 12 points and 2 assists. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And Peters has been balling off the bench. We're going to try to get him a bigger role later on. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you go ahead and like it up. Like I said, 175 likes for the next episode. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe. And check out all those videos that I mentioned earlier. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace, y'all. I made a million less than a year and I blew that on stupid shit Typed it in like how to make a million, I used to Google it Savannah just wanted to see me perform and got hit over stupid shit